a short activation sequence for you when you just need to get moving and need to get some strength back into your body. So starting on your mat in an extended child pose, toes tucked to get the soles of your feet to wake up, fingertips out in front of you, wrists off the mat, roll shoulders away from your ears and lengthen the spine. Keep rolling those shoulders away so your armpits face down towards your mat. And then take a couple of breaths right down into the lower lobes of the back of your lungs. So we're spreading our sitting bones, opening up into the pelvic floor. Beautiful, coming up onto hands and knees. Take your feet, press them down into the mat, lift your tail and then tuck your tail under. Lift your tail and then tuck your tail under. So you breathe in to lift and you breathe out to tuck. And once you've got that rhythm with your pelvis, start to take the ripple right up towards your shoulders, towards the crown of your head. Lifting on the inhale, tucking on the exhale. Good, and then leave your tail up and swirl your pelvis behind you, just massaging into your hips, into your lower back. Let your shoulders be nice and loose here as well, one direction and then the other direction. Beautiful. Okay, taking your left foot forward, press the right foot into the ground, draw yourself into a lunge to open up into these hip flexors here. Arms up towards the ceiling if that feels good, shoulders away from the ears, deep all breath and stretching fingertips up. Make sure shoulders stay down though. Lovely full breaths, keep pressing down through that back foot. And then take your left hand down towards the mat, pushing your elbow back in towards your knee to open up the inner thigh. Right hand up, up, up towards the ceiling here, and then a big swish, mobilizing the shoulder. Lovely, take your knees together, drop the hips from side to side. Bit of weight through the wrists. Good to keep those wrists nice and strong. And then taking that right foot forward this time, pressing the back foot into the ground. Draw yourself into your lunge here. Rib cage lifting away from pelvis, shoulders down, full deep breath in. Good, and then right hand down on the mat, elbow back, opening up the inner thigh. Give yourself a twist through the mid back here, the thoracic spine, and a nice big swish with that top arm mobilizing the shoulder, beautiful. Coming down onto your forearms, waking up your bum. So draw tummy button up towards your ribs. Take your right foot up towards the ceiling, little kicks upwards, squeezing right glute, little kicks with the heel. Keep the ribs drawn in so you're not flopping through your back. You're switching on through the core muscles. And then the other side, Lifting up again, make sure ribs are drawn in. Keep breathing, little pulsy squeezes, switching on gluteal muscles. Fabulous. Tuck your toes, slide up, opening up quads a bit more, hip flexors a bit more, roll shoulders back behind you, heels of the hands on the top of the pelvis. Slide your knees down as you imagine your pubic bone is sliding up towards the ceiling. And little sippy breaths up through your heart center towards your shoulders. Elbows drawn towards each other, pelvis supported. Press those knees down, opening up camel pose. Now imagine you have a hook from the crown of your head and it's lifting you up towards the ceiling. Chin draws in, base of the rib cage draws in here. Slide yourself down onto your knees. Feel that lovely stacked alignment. Take the hands into the heart center, elbows up. Now we're gonna squeeze and glide. So squeeze and glide up, elbows out to the side. Nice and wide here, opening the chest muscles. Slowly come back down. Inhaling to come up and exhaling to come down. Squeeze your bum muscles as you come up, your glutes. And down, squeeze and glide. And then down, take the hands up towards the ceiling. And then down. Up, squeezing glutes, and then down, breathing in, and take the hands behind you, extended child pose. Again, shoulders away from ears, lengthen the spine, coming into 
cat with your tail high, tuck your toes, exhale, downward facing dog, pressing down through the heels, massaging those feet. That's it. Drop the knees across the midline of the body. Beautiful. Lovely. Lifting right up. Imagine your tail is being lifted up towards the intersection of the ceiling and the wall behind you. So knees can be as bent as they like. Slide them down. Calf muscles through heels towards the ground. Dropping down onto your knees. Coming back through cat. Exhaling through extended child pose. And then pushing through those shins, flowing upwards, take the hands up towards the ceiling, and then all the way down. Just opening up through the shoulders, one arm across the body, lock it into place, pull in with your bent arm, pull out with your straight arm, head slightly over so we stretch the back of the shoulders here. Inhaling, opening the heart center, squeezing those hands back, other hand across, locking it into place, and stretching into the neck. Beautiful. This time, taking the hand up and over, lateral stretch, press down through the pelvis here, and then up and over to the other side. So we stretch the whole body. Beautiful. Dropping down, rolling the shoulders one direction, and then in the other direction, massaging the upper back, and then stacking the head, bang on top of the neck again. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.